Hi, in this tutorial, we will talk about Singleton, an Android application. Singleton is an object, created only one time. It will not be destroyed until your entire application process is destroyed. It is accessible by the entire application. I will show you where to use it and how to create it. Fortunately, I've made a tutorial on how to use Recycle Review for displaying list of users. You can find the link in the video description. I can use this code to show you where we can use Singleton. Users list is owned by this activity. Later on, we will create two more activities. One activity for adding new user, I'll call it add user and one for displaying details of the selected user from the list. I'll call it user details. Both of them need access to the users list. So that's mean users list must be generic, not for a specific component. As a rule of thumb, anything needs to be accessed globally, add it to the singleton object. Let's learn how to create singleton object. In the project window, right click on the applications package, new, java class, call it users base, click OK. Singleton object needs to be instantiated or created only one time, so its constructor must be private. No one can make an instance of this class, only this class itself. Create public static method for returning singleton object. Singleton object needs to be saved as a private static instantiate singleton object. This instantiation is done only if singleton object is not being created. So you have to check if singleton object is equal to null if yes, then that's me the singleton object is not being created and needs to be created. Finally, return it. Any component needs access to singleton object must make a call to its get method. So let's save users list as a member variable of singleton object. Once the singleton object is instantiated for the first time, instantiate list object and populate it with 100 demo user object. Create a public method for returning list of type user. Call it get users. Return the users list. Back to the list of users activity, it is not the owner of the users list anymore. So just access it from the singleton object. Users list is already instantiated and populated in the singleton object. Just remove this code, we don't need it. Run the application. So, singleton object is now the owner of the users list. If you want to add, delete, update, or read user's data, you ask singleton object for it. That's all. I hope it was easy to follow and helpful. Thanks for watching.